Hi guys, I just got home from cooking, a cooking seminar. So we have these um, require uh, interdisciplinary seminar that we have to attend to um, in during medical school. We have to go to five of them within uh, third and fourth year of medical school. So this is my third one and I signed up for this cooking class like nutrition and food for patient uh, with cancer like how to prevent them and the treatment with food. So for this class we have to like do a pre-reading, a video lecture and then learn about the different ways to improve the diet and then take a quiz and then go to the, the class so, so I just got back so it was at uh, this uh, cooking, teaching cooking cook, teaching kitchen uh, that in our school and there's like lots of kitchen space and uh, so we got there just learn about how to handle knives I haven't used a cooking knife since like last time I went to a teaching kitchen during like second year of medical school so it's been two or three years since I lost hold a kitchen knife so learn how to cut vegetable and then basic handling of tools and where everything is in the kitchen and then we started cooking. So what we made in our group, so all the group make different dishes. We are in charge of like tuna salad, uh, chocolate pudding with avocado and like smoothie spinach, purple spinach smoothie and then the date roll and so mostly like dessert for our group. Other group will have like soup, like tacos, and yeah, all the cool dishes. And in the end, we all showcase our dish and then talk about the ingredient, talk about how it benefits cancer patient, and then we eat. And it actually turned out really good. The food are mostly very high calorie because the cancer patient need those calories. They're usually like um, malnutrition or lacking appetite, so we want to make the food very uh, nutritious and it's definitely not for people on diet <laughs> so yeah the food tastes good very creamy lots of fat content lots of fiber also yeah so it tastes good and yeah i haven't boiled egg for so long my job was like to boil egg and i'm like how do you boil egg so I just throw egg in the water and fill it up to the egg and then when the water boil cover it for 10 minutes and then ice chill it and then peel sounds simple right and then i kind of fail because the egg is not completely cook. It's more like onsen egg, like those Japanese um, hot spring eggs, so inside is like kind of raw. I like those eggs actually, but but we still manage to dice it and then mix it into our potatoes, uh, the tuna salad. <laughs> Overall it was pretty fun, last like three hours. So after the, what we're eating, that we discussed like some cases, case study, and answer question, and then the last 15 minutes we cleaned up together as a group, so it ends pretty, really quickly. So that's just my uh, cooking experience. I don't usually cook as if you know me. I don't go in the kitchen much. I only use microwave. And like, yeah, that's all. So, I'm making instant noodles. So that's like my cooking experience today. All right, I'm babbling. All right, thanks for watching guys. Bye. Thank you for watching our video. JS Adventure is a snippet of our daily lives and travel. Please subscribe to our channel if you haven't. See you guys next time. Bye bye.